This video will show you how to get to Dalton's Playhouse, which is a, an extra credit assignment that you can take on that is worth up to 16 points. So what I'm going to do is scroll down a little bit here so we can see the homework page for the 22nd of September 2015. And in it you'll see Dalton's Playhouse right here. I'll highlight this. And that's your major title. And by looking at this link right here, you will be able to go and see how to do that assignment. I have another video that I either have online or will create soon that will show you how to do the extra credit write-up. So, First of all, let's go and take a look at this thing. And how are you going to get there? Well, you're going to Vision Learning, and Vision Learning has lots and lots of stuff on it. Their site navigates in such a way that I cannot give you a direct link, so I can only take you to this page. So what you want to do is scroll down almost to the bottom of the page. And when you get close to the bottom of the page, you're going to see this picture right here and it's under the major title Modern Atomic Theory. And so what I'm going to do is go down just a little bit below that picture and you'll see Dalton's Playhouse which is what we're after. So when I click view that's going to take me to the site. And here we are Dalton's Playhouse. First thing you want to do is to read this little book here and just this two pages that are exposed and you're not going to put your name in or anything like that. You're just going to hit the enter key to enter where you're actually going to do your extra credit. Now the first page you come to here, when I, hi when I move my mouse over this, it will highlight it and I can read this and these are directions on how to navigate through the site. You need to read this carefully. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use these two tools, but you need to read this on your own. So I'm going to hide it right now. I can bring it back if I want, and that's the way many of the pages work. So I'm going to enter the laboratory now, and in the laboratory I have one, two, three, four different uh, little animations interactive animations that allow you to do the experiments that were done by Priestley and Lavoisier and also um, learn a little bit about the diamond and that's that's really fascinating and then you have four concepts each of these is worth four points extra credit if you do them correctly so little was known about the matter of atoms in the late 1700s in fact, even oxygen had not yet been discovered. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Priestley's and, um, oh, I'm sorry, we're already there. So we're going to proceed. Now, notice that this block right here, I can hide just like I did on the first page. So that is able to be tucked away or reread at any time. So I proceed and here we are with the actual kind of apparatus that he used. And it tells you again how to use this tool and this tool. This is the scale, of course, and this is our graduated cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this and just show you how it works. Before you begin this one, you have to choose what mass of calyx you're going to start with. And you're going to need to do all three. So I'm just going to start with the first one. And I can't get a volume of gas, but I can weigh the calyx. And that's, the, that's information that we need to uh, look at and record. So this measured 100 grams. And now I'm going to actually heat the calyx. And that will drive off a gas. And you can see the tube goes up out of this container and comes down underneath a, an upside down cylinder that has a bottom. And so we can collect gas in there 
and we can actually measure it using this graduated cylinder and you see that's 5.171 liters. So we record that. Now we've got the two measurements that we need for this particular part. Now we want to go to the calyx and heat it again, only this time we're starting with 200 grams of the calyx. And it will drive off of the gas that it has and you'll notice that uh, they didn't know it at the time when, when this was done, but this is actually mercury that is being left. And they may not, they may have known mercury. Yes, they did. Anyway, so the mercury is left behind and the other element that was with it turns out to be a gas and we've collected that here. So we want to go ahead and get that mass and we got the 14.78 grams and we also want to get the volume. You'll notice this thing is like a gun sight and you want to put that onto the thing that you want to measure either with the graduated cylinder or the double pan balance. Okay. Once you've got that, you want to go ahead and get the third one. But I'm going to go on to the next part of this and I'm still in the Priestley experiment and I'm going to have to co copy the question and copy down the answer and you're going to tell me why, not just give me an answer. And as I proceed, oh, I've got to make a question, or, or I've got to make an answer. So now as I proceed, it's going to tell me that I was correct. Oh, I'm so smart. I even guessed on that one. I didn't even read it really. But uh, you, you can get the correct answer very easily, but don't, don't just tell me why, don't just tell me that it decreased. You want to tell me that there's a reason why it decreased. Okay, once we get out of that, we can go ahead and take this little quiz, and again, you can come back and do it as many times as you want to get the correct answer. I just chose D, and yeah, you definitely want to try again until you get the right answer, but don't just tell me the right answer. Again, you need to tell me why that answer is correct. So I'm just going to go through this dumb without even looking at it, like I hope you don't do. And now I've got the correct answer, and now I need to get the reason why that is the correct answer. And then I can proceed. And now we've got a third question, and we go through the same process. All of these are pretty much the same. This is a different kind of an experiment, and this tells you what's going on. And then you proceed and do that one. The diamond is very interesting. I think you'll like this one. But you can see it's very graphically pleasing, and there's several things to do. Your job is to record everything, answer all questions, give reasons for all your answers, and by doing that, you can come up with the 16 points extra credit, which does anybody a lot of good, no matter where they are in the semester. Okay, this last one is, oh, four concepts. Is this four concepts? Yeah, okay. So when I proceed into this one, you can see it's a quiz. And so uh, you just do whatever it is there is to do, and that's going to be your extra credit opportunity. So I wish you the best of luck with this. I will create another recording that will give you uh, a lot of direction on how to go ahead and get yourself set up to uh, uh, have, have a full credit, extra credit thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it.